Hello fellow Divine Feminines, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well today. I just want to say before I get too far into it, thank you very much for all you new subscribers and people who have liked and commented, um, telling me all kinds of stories. Y'all are amazing and I'm so grateful that um, you're paying attention to little old me over here. <laughs> so thank you for um, for all of that. I really, really do appreciate it very much. Um, I uh, also feel compelled to say and get into a better habit of saying that um, in my videos I do tend to say um, divine feminine and the pronoun she and divine masculine and the pronoun he. It just pops out that way. Um, it of course has no bearing on what gender identity anybody is in <laughs> in this uh, journey. It's just a, um, a notion of duality that is being highlighted there. So it has nothing to do with our bodies in any way. Just so that just so that that's clear, I feel like I should say that. Um, yeah, so Mr. Masculine seems to be in a bit of a in a bit of a state here. Um, <laughs> I did a video earlier uh, where the with the uh, Kundalini was you know rising, and so I kind of focused a little bit more on that in that video. But um, one thing that I've learned is that um, the masculine is, and of course, especially if that masculine is in a man's body, um, usually the divine masculine in a man's body is a lot more comfortable expressing any kind of um, deep feeling um, through either actual physical intimacy with you, if that's actually happened to you. Um, uh, but if if not, um, I've noticed that they are very comfortable or much more comfortable being that type of vulnerable, um, just with words as well. If we're talking about, you know, sometimes it can get very explicit, things I can't really say <laughs> in mixed company on YouTube, but um, they can be awfully comfortable talking about physical intimacy in that sort of a setting. Um, and really what they're talking about is vulnerability and wanting to feel that bond and that closeness with you that, <clears throat> that you would know you know, how to describe probably more easily through, you know, regular conversation. <laughs> it doesn't need to be framed as like a anything uh, suggestive or explicit. Um, usually for us divine feminines, that's if we are in a woman's body, um, it's kind of like that. It's a conditioning thing. And that's why it can start to feel for us like, is that all you want? Is that all this is to you? Um, it's not all that it is to them. They just, that's their kind of mode of expressing it uh, until they're ready enough to, to be more uh, direct, I guess, even though <laughs> communication in that sort of area is it has its own sort of directness. Um, <laughs> it's still indirect because it's coming at something like emotion through the density of the body. I think I think that's the difference. I mean, chime in if you have thoughts <laughs> on the matter. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't even have to like shuffle and the cards popped out so oh i'm using the um divine masculine honesty and realizations deck by sandra cole she is world illuminator 11 on youtube if you want to check her out she's got lots of great insight to share so two cards popped out so let's see what they say universe i'm calling upon the universe and asking for help i trust that the universe will bring us back together again at the right time. 
this is important for us too to remember that this is all being handled for us. We don't need to do anything about it. And um, nor does the masculine really need to do anything about it. I mean, there are obviously things that we can be doing to perhaps make the way more easily, um, like shedding old habits, bad habits that we might have, when, regardless of who we are <laughs> in the relationship or connection. Um, we all have, you know, things that are probably not great uh, that we that we do, whether it's a behavior or um, just a, a habit. You know, a lot of us have habits, smoking, drinking, you know, things like that, that probably aren't the best for us. But, you know, they're just a a habit. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there are worse addictions as well that, that people do contend with um, that need to be obviously shed before you can have a healthy uh, relationship with someone. Um, obviously, you know, people are in other relationships and those need to be resolved as well. So there's stuff that we can be doing, definitely, but it's not a we're not doing it about that other person. We're doing it so that we become healthier, happier people. So that the universe can do all the hard stuff. <laughs> and the universe can make the way for us forward. Um, so long as we let that happen the way it's supposed to, then we're, we're okay. We're in good hands. It makes things so much easier when all we have to do is think about what we need to be healthy, happy, fulfilled people. That's, uh, that's the number one thing to be concerned about. Um, paying attention to those things will definitely make the way for your person to come for you. Mm, last card here. Ego. That's it what I was just talking about. Many times I get so lost in my thoughts and fears and I get stuck in my head, my old ways because of my ego. I'm really trying to free myself from this prison of fear that my ego puts me in. Mm-hmm. Huge discovery for Mr. Masculine is that he is in a prison of his own making, right? Because so many times when they meet us and realize who we are everything is has been going along the way it's been going along you know and typically that means you know they have all of the the i guess trappings if you will of of their life you know they've got you know a, depending where we're at <laughs> you know in at, with age and all of that you know a lot of times you know where they're married with kids and a mortgage and you know debt and all that stuff right <laughs> that that we often uh that we often acquire uh when we are living uh according to a prescribed plan which you know we, we learn and as we're growing up and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that that thinking that way and operating that way is letting your ego have complete control over your life. That's when um, a lot of times we become frightened, very frightened of change because we think that to deviate in any way from our prescribed path is wrong or bad or unacceptable or you know any number of feelings can arise because our ego feels out of control when we're in on this path and we are trying to become better more enlightened people right um, and it's it's no different for the masculine it's it's indeed, I think, harder for, and again, a masculine in a man's body. Um, I often re 
talk about masculines and men's bodies because that's what I know best <laughs> um, from my own personal experience. So, so bear with me on that. I apologize if that seems insensitive. It's definitely not intended to be. Um, but divine masculines who are also in men's bodies are, um, are trained from very early on to follow that ego and to live by what it says and to ignore any 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 intuitive uh, ability that they already have um, that's often taught to boys when they're growing up you know to to be very much in the physical world if you can't see it then it's not real so don't worry about it you know there's this kind of and it's a very limiting um, way to be taught um, but alas it is very common um, so realizing the ego at, at all is a pretty big revelation for a lot of fellas and um, just realizing that that's there like that is huge and then being able to realize that the ego is it's trying to protect us all the time but it's a taskmaster a lot of the time and it keeps us limited and rigid in our convictions about certain things and it can be a challenge for our soul and our intellect and all of that to come together and 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 figure out and kind of fight against the ego a little bit and be like, well, that's not actually all true, you silly ego. Um, <laughs> you're just telling me that that's the way it is because that's what you want me to believe. And I know you're trying to protect me, but it's okay. I'm a grown up. I can protect myself. <laughs> it's kind of the thought process anyway, at least it seems to be. Um, they they are discovering that they are in yeah they're in a in a position in life where they realize why they're there and how they got there um but they're now discovering that they don't actually have to stay there um and that's a pretty big moment you know to realize oh wait a minute i have autonomy hmm interesting you know like it, just that realization is that's a big that's a big one <laughs> it doesn't sound like it as much to to uh divine feminine because we're a lot more comfortable with adapting changing overcoming you know because again that can be if we're also women we are conditioned a lot of the time to to um to have to uh, change and adapt um because i have hair in my mouth i'm sorry <laughs> cat fur um we are we're conditioned to yeah to adapt um, rather than be rigid and firm in our in our ways because because oftentimes you know if we are in a relationship with a with a man you know we have to we are, we're trained we're trained a lot of us to defer to that to that male presence in our life and it doesn't have to be a relationship like a romantic situation i mean when i was growing up we moved a lot why because my dad's career my mom didn't have a career ultimately because she was trained as i was trained and my sister you know you you don't have um you don't have a need for that you just have to you know Follow what that dominant man in your life uh, wants for his career. That's what you do. 
that means you move all over the world, that means you have to learn different languages sometimes, that means you have to do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and it's it's for that for that one person. And it's not a it's not a great thing to learn. <laughs> I'm not saying it's good. Um but it's something we learn. And I think I want one more card from the Divine Masculine Secret to the Soul deck. Of course, I always mention which decks I've used for every video in the description box of said video. And I always buy these from makeplaincards.com is the name of the website where these cards are made which is great. It's always good to support other other divine feminines who are readers as well. Hm. I'm wiser now. Good. I'm getting this card a lot these days. This is a great one. I want it. I want to see it. I'm here for it. Masculine person. <laughs> yes, because he is learning that there's an ego that has kind of gotten him to this point in life and it has had all of the control and he has had sort of none of the real control he's just kind of followed the prescribed rules you know that were taught but now he's appreciating oh wait a minute there's a, there's a consciousness in me that's where wisdom is ah oh. Okay, right? Like it's 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 difficult to get the head around. But but he is and that's always a joy to see. <laughs> I am learning everything I can about our love. This could mean research. This could mean um watching videos like this. It could mean talking to uh, other uh, spiritual people just about general kind of spiritualism <laughs> as a rule um, if he doesn't know the label for uh, you know twin flame um, then he's probably he probably knows what a soulmate is um, or has a notion of it because it's a commonly used expression um, and yeah, he's looking into what exactly this is and why we can't just move on and just carry on the way our lives used to be, right? <laughs> Before we knew this person, life was one way and it seemed to make sense. And then we met this person and life no longer makes sense. <laughs> And it would be great for life to just make sense again, you know, and that's a, a pretty normal craving, I would think, I think for a lot of us, not just, not just him, <laughs> but for a lot of us, um, even though we are more comfortable with change on the divine feminine side, it's still, it's still hard, you know, we, we've, we've lived our lives the way we have because of, you know, all those reasons that I've mentioned, you know, um, and it's hard to realize that maybe we don't need to do that anymore. And what would it look like if I didn't do that anymore? Whatever the behavior is or um, the relationship you're in or, you know, all those things, right? Like, what would it look like if, you know, I was no longer married? I don't know, because, you know, my whole life growing up, that was what I learned, you know, that's what you do, you, you, you grow up, you become an adult, and then you get married to someone, that's, that's what you do, that's what happens, and so w focusing on that as like an outcome all the time <laughs> meant I wasn't paying, personally, this is me personally here, um, that I wasn't paying attention to the reasons behind why I might want to not do that. It didn't occur to me that there was any other choice, um, to be to be quite honest, and it's somewhat embarrassing to admit, but 
<laughs> but it is true. It is a fact of how I how I was raised. And I know that I am not unique in in that way. Um so but but divine masculine is learning an awful lot and figuring out stuff that we've kind of I think mostly figured out by now that you know we have the same soul vibration or blueprint or whatever you want to call it and that's why we can't move on um we are a simultaneous incarnation of the same soul in two bodies that's why we can't move on and just forget the other it 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 you can't and <laughs> it doesn't mean you need to be in a relationship with them in in the physical world um that's not necessarily a part of this in fact it shouldn't be the focus of this this is um this is something greater um than just another person um it's it's really really tricky though because it plays with the ego a lot because we love romance we love the the the, the way they make us feel right it's intoxicating it's it's an addictive feeling right that's where that need to reach out comes from and that's why we feel incredibly vulnerable and like we need reassuring that uh, is this okay is this real i don't know you know we we you know it's it's a tough one to remember that it's not actually all about that person that person has done their job by seeing you and you've seen them see you and that's ultimately what their purpose was it, it's not about you know getting together getting married having kids any of that stuff unless you want it obviously if you want it then that's awesome <laughs> but if you don't you don't necessarily that's not the end goal the end goal is understanding all of this for what it is and applying it to being a better person just as an individual you don't need that other person they don't complete you. That's important. Oh, my stomach's gurgling. That's important, important stuff. Okay. <laughs> I harp on it all the time, but it is true. Um, obsessing about this like it's just a romantic connection is not going to get you what you want. Um, you got to let that outcome go. And let the universe do the heavy lifting and show the way. Um, that's, you know, back to that very first card, right? The universe does the heavy lifting on that front, you know, bringing people together. And even if it seems absolutely impossible, if you live on the other side of the world from each other, there's always a way if you allow divine timing to take the wheel on that and just be focused on on this stuff you know just soul stuff that's all that we need to concern ourselves with um so it's very important to remember that i realize i say that all the time and it's probably obnoxious to hear but i do want to make that a clear message that it's very very easy to fall down that mind shaft of you know twin flame stuff you know but that's actually got very little if anything to do with what we're actually here to do on this journey so last card this one makes sense it has been a little bit quiet it seems so i do intend to reach out yeah a lot of energy out there seems to be that there's a bit of a a bit of a lull a bit of a Kind of a delay in communication and um it's coming to an end i don't think it's going to last for any significant amount of time um 
because so much the the universe is doing so much to help and and divine masculine is finally kind of on board with figuring out what this is you know like the ego card said here they're they're figuring out okay this is something else and this is something greater than than me and it's unlike anything else that I have ever experienced and I need to figure out more because I like the way this person makes me feel. I like uh, myself better when I'm in this person's company and when I can't be in their company I remember things that we have said. I remember and look at photographs because the age we live in now we have we all have photographs of each other that are easily stored and easily uh, accessed <laughs> you know because of the the world we're in right now today um, and the masculine does do that they to feel close to to you when they're feeling like they can't express um, and that's hard that's a hard thing for them as well as for us I appreciate that it's different for them but it's uh, it's still difficult for them let's just say it's not easy for them either it's just different <laughs> and yeah I think I have probably gone on long enough so I will leave us with that do know that you are loved and that you are valuable and that you are everything that you need already you don't have to buy anything or go anywhere or do anything specific you're already all that you need so know that you're loved and i will see you in the next video